to the other representatives of the Royal Court this year. Please give it up for Mr. Transport Pittsburgh, Chance Thomas. Miss <laughs> Transport Genderqueer, Danny Lamar. Miss <laughs> Transport Ally, Colleen Shreve. <laughs> Many of you know me as a local drag performer. It is my mission this year to represent our community in a more substantial way. This year, I am going to donate all of my tips to local charities, like the GLCC, yeah, yeah. First Lot Center, Woo. Pittsburgh AIDS Task Force, Woo. the Transgendered Law Center, Woo. the AIDS Crisis Center, just to name a few. Woo. I hope to solicit local businesses to match funds as well. I would also like to try my hand at getting larger, tax-deductible, corporate donations. I like donations that jingle, and I love the kind of folds, but checks are where it's at. Yes. <laughs> Announcements of the latest charities will be posted on my Facebook page, Janet Granite, before every show. The next thing I would like to talk today is the significant problem of street harassment. I must admit ignorance of the law. Is it a crime? I know it should be. If so, how is it being handled? I believe to become more active in this area. A permissive attitude towards this form of public harassment only leads to an escalation of the problem. I believe that this city and county should create a task force to address this problem. It happens on buses, stores, and on the street. And we need to aggressively pursue a solution to this issue. The further I go into transition, the more of it I experience, and it can be very threatening. There was a catalyst event in my thinking recently. Two times this year, a friend of mine was chased down in the street by groups of men who were catcalling her. She was left in a state of terror after narrowly escaping these assailants. Once it happened in broad daylight, she used her pepper spray I gave her three days earlier and was able to escape. I believe we should form a self-defense network that includes training sessions with members of law enforcement and also lectures from the legal establishment regarding the law and our rights and what we can expect after an incident. We should also create provisions for victims like transportation, referrals for attorneys, and crisis counseling as well. This is not just a trans, a trans issue. This is not just a woman's issue. This is a human issue. It also happens to gay men. It happens to everyone. A moment, please. <laughs> Earlier in the year, we bought pepper spray by the case. It was much, much cheaper, and we gave it out to our friends. I believe that we should raise funds for bulk purchases of pepper spray and also stunners. They are legal to use and carry and very effective. They are also non-lethal. We also have good news. Yeah. Transgendered issues are beginning to get the kind of positive attention that creates change and awareness. There is some progress regarding issues like gender affirmation surgery covered by Medicare now. We are, we're a small percentage of the population. It doesn't cost everyone that much. <laughs> we are soon going to find out the reality of that decision. Health care for the transgendered community is a very difficult issue to navigate. The Medicare decision could be a stepping stone for surgery regarding the Affordable Care Act. It would be wise to become more unified regarding the Affordable Care Act.
soon precedents will become policy. So now it is the time to become informed and involved. Okay, the last bit of this speech is going to be a little loose. I was pressed for time. <laughs> I spent many years as a poll watcher. I considered it my civic duty. I learned a lot about my community. I learned a lot about my candidates. Eventually, I was tapped to join the Democratic Committee of my hometown. Committee meetings like this are very useful, and it's incredibly good to get involved. Candidates will come and talk about who they are, what they, their experience is, and what they can do for you. As a poll watcher, I watched returns come in and watched elections come down to a handful of votes. You should know there are two kinds of elections. There's the sexy election, big time presidential elections, everybody shows up, and then there are the off-year elections. These are the elections where you can have real change. A group of people this large can swing a vote. These are the elections like county council. You want more money for your programs? The federal dollars that come in are dispersed by the county council. You have two options. You can either find a candidate who suits your needs, back them, fund them, and hope they win, or you can create a larger group and go to the already elected candidates and say, these are the issues we're watching. We want you to vote this way, or we'll vote that way. So you can affect local politics with a small group of people. All the money, all the money that comes in for all the projects from the federal government goes through county council. Um. Okay, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Janet Granite. I hope to be starting a web page that is uh, more involved with, with this kind of thing and because I know a lot of people don't want to be bothered and I'm not gonna harass you. If you want to become involved, this year I'm going to be trying to do more involvement. So just keep your keep your eyes open and uh, I hope to to hear from you. And come to the show and throw money at me. Let's go to charity. <laughs> Okay, so um, up next is Joy. Woo! And